Welcome back everyone, and I'm standing by my sheep just because sheep are by far my favorite animal mob in the game of Minecraft. Now, with that said, I think I want to get into the wool business. I need tons, and I mean tons, of different colors. And of course I'm not going to use it all, so sell the rest, make a store, duh. So. Let's get right into it and let's build this sheep farm. So the sheep farm, I'm thinking, putting it pretty much right here. Let's move this over here out of the way. So I'm thinking about putting it right here in this section. And possibly putting like the butcher shop right here so with the wool I'm thinking possibly like a, we could do like a decorate the interior to look like a clothing store of some sort so I'm gonna do a little different with this video as I'm just gonna come and pop in as I get some work done so let me figure out where I'm putting the sheep farm because of course it's going underneath it's not going to be on top where we can see. Up here it's going to be like the clothing store. And it's going to be like this secret little hatch in the back. So what I'm going to actually do is. We're going to. I'm going to dig my way down. So once I dig my way down. Into where I want it to be. I'm going to start pretty much digging an area out. For this. So let me get to it. And I will be right back. Okay, so I kind of cleared out an area down here, and as you can see, um, it don't look like nothing. I'm placing down grass just because sheep eat grass, <laughs> if you didn't know. And that is very vital to growing of more wool for this automatic sheep farm. So, what I want to do is continue this, and I may come back when I'm done with all the farms, or just one. I don't know. I just know it is going to be such a huge, huge, crap, huge task for me. I know nothing about redstone. Like, so literally, I gotta find a video and go from there and put it together. So let me go ahead and try to find a video and try to build some. I'll be right back. Okay, so I somewhat got it going on, so pretty much it's the simple thing. I'm not even going to explain it because I don't know what I'm explaining. But everybody knows how to do this when you follow a random video out there. So I got the automatic farm set up pretty much. So what it's going to be is what I'm walking on now would pretty much be glass just holding over this grass space so it can easily have more surrounding areas to turn this back into grass once a sheep eats it. There will be this little walking area right up here where I can drop all the sheep in and then cover it up with um, glowstone or sea land or whatever I have more of when I go check. And then this ladder right here will keep going down and then it will access all these chests down there that will be there. So I think we're doing good. So I'll come back once probably I get all the sheep in here and uh, the chest going to show what I got show it working and then we can start on the build up top which is pretty much why you're here for right all right let's get to it all right everyone I'm coming in after doing a quite a bit so I do have the front face pretty much planned out how we're gonna do everything like that pretty much with the windows and the storefront so you have your um, clothing store over here where the sheep are underneath and then we'll have uh, the butcher over here which would have your pretty much we're gonna do that that bouncy pig and bouncy <laughs> cow farm deal here eventually um just so we have a more reliable source of food and we might get chicken in there too I uh, might make an auto chicken farm I don't know but definitely the bouncy pig and bouncy chicken. I mean bouncy cow. So this would be like the clothing store. As you can see I'm just. What I'm doing is filling in glass in these empty spots. Pretty much going 
with that same feel we did at spawn at our shop which if you did not see our bakery build go back and watch it it is good good inspiration great inspiration on building some uh town bakery type builds um for your area so i do recommend going to see that so what we're doing instead of the regular brick we do are doing stone brick just i feel it would uh it works better over here than the normal brick and we're doing the white terracotta just so it looks like a faded type pinky um beigey type look that we're going for so what you're waiting for is how did i do with this sheep farm we'll say i did pretty good i can see they're all oh you saw that right on camera um some are getting stuck around here um it's not to the point where you notice notice it so much as you can see they are getting caught um for the most part they are going down um i did afk overnight just to see how it would go and we did pretty good um, I did start building that up there for about 30 minutes and that's what we got so far so it's not going so bad um, the only problem is is the green <laughs> I put the it facing the wrong way the observer so the poor mr. green which I think is right here not positive didn't get sheared all night but He's fixed, fixed now. We noticed it. We're good. <laughs> I was so tired last night. Why not? Because what I did is I pretty much stopped recording um, and told y'all I'll be right back. And I tried to hurry and fix, finish the sheet so I could go to sleep. Because it was getting to a point I was, I don't even know. I wouldn't even been able to build past that point <laughs> where we got. Because I was so tired. So what I'm going to do is actually try to finish up a lot what I'm working on here. Pretty much get the box, the sh shape of what we're going for. Well, I hiccup like mid-talk right there. I don't know if you heard the huh, 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 like in the middle of talking, but it was there. So I want to go with that mid point what we're going for here. And I'll be back once I get like most of it done. Alright y'all, so I gotta bring you back faster than I thought. I was gonna try to get this awning done first. But something so, 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 so exciting just happened. So, from here, all the way to the end. Oh, not that end. Um, the end right here of our clothing store is 16 wide and that is just amazing and you might be wondering why is that amazing well let me tell you it is amazing because there is 16 colors of wool so that being said I can get the whole rainbow going across and I'm so excited about that so let me get that done and I'll bring you back once it's pretty much put together <laughs> oh, and show you the excitement I'm gonna have y'all <laughs> design wise like in a creative world this would not work that's the best thing about the survival world because it has those sheep there you can get away with this like it actually works it looks so good oh eat my fish i love it so much so with that being said <laughs> i can't get over it so up top is now spawnable so easy fix is i can put white carpet on white gray carpet on light gray carpet on light gray you know and so on and so on for all the way over and that will cancel out that possibility of 
um, spawning on top, and we'll just half slap the roof, so we'll definitely not have the spawning up there, so that will help. So, I really need to get back into building the inside and getting it taken care of, so we can have a, uh, nice entrance to come to, so... Hope you're liking this the updates, cause if not this video would have been like three videos long and who wants to watch that? So I'll be back. Alright, so I was just finishing up carpeting the roof so no spawning can happen. Also carpet the awning and boom. That is our clothing shot. Oh and the sun's going down. So let's go in. I named it Zia's Clothing and Things. Got a big painting in the back. Got some armor stands with some armors that I just had laying around. Shit's opening, y'all. That's why it's not finished. We'll put some banners hanging right here. Like clothing. We'll put some like carpet here. Eventually to make it look like clothing there. Also, not positive yet. I'm gonna do that. But that's like the base. And then of course we got our wonderful sheep farm down here. Producing our amazing wool that we'll eventually be selling. I don't know about y'all, but I am loving this. I mean this is something that's been on the back burner since I started this SMB. I've been like, I why'd I come up here? I need a wool farm because honestly sheep are my favorite animal mob in the game so it's only natural that we get a sheep farm and now that it is quite possible to do a auto sheep farm this was so much needed so as you see we got some lighting up here also, like it's hanging from this like chain type thing going on and I am just loving it. And the meat shop or the butcher, I haven't even touched that yet. I mean that is later on in the future when we actually get our little stuff going on with that pretty much. So. I haven't even touched that yet, but the building's there for when we do do it and we use it. Alright, and I need to sign off, so as always everyone, please stay crafty, and I hope you loved it.